What's up guys, welcome back. We're working on the cobalt again today. It's kind of an update video because I have been doing some stuff off camera, uh, which I'll just tell you about now. I ended up finishing the rocker panels on both sides. So as you can see, they're all done, ready to go. I mean, they were done before, but I had to finish up the body work and all that on them. So both sides are done. I got this rear quarter body work going on. Uh, it's not quite finished. We actually went outside, uh, was warm some days, and we started pulling apart the other car. I didn't bother to film it because basically it was the same as taking this one apart. So as you can see, I got the seats. They're just in there temporarily, but we got the dash and parts all over the place. So what we're gonna do today is the wiring. As you can see, there is a lot of it. So pretty much uh, I realized that I have to change the entire wiring harness because the SS actually has some different stuff that the base model did not have. Subwoofer in the trunk and amplifier and all this other kind of stuff. And plus the ABS module, which is right here, is different to the turbo. I also realized today that the uh, brake booster and everything is also different, so I have to change all that. So we're definitely gonna be changing pretty much every single thing from the other car to this car, which I kind of anticipated. Um, maybe it's a little more work than I thought it was gonna be, but it's not too bad, it's just unbolting stuff. Getting this wiring harness out was a pain. For the most part, it's just pull the wiring harness out, but then when it gets to, uh, you have to pull this whole cluster here and it has to be pulled through a hole in the firewall, which is just down here, and it's not very big. I also realized that this wiring harness right here is this wiring harness, which is for the dash, uh, for the stereo and stuff. I also have to change it because I guess the SS has a, uh, I'm assuming this is an amplifier, factory amplifier. Uh, so yeah, that's different too. So I ended up pulling out all the harnesses, just change everything and be done with it. So we're gonna pull these seats out and we're gonna start laying this harness into the car. We also got the carpet out. Here is the carpet. I already kind of cleaned it up. There was a big, uh, there was a big stain there that I used some uh, carpet cleaner stuff on. So it just needs a little more of a vacuum. It's actually in pretty good shape. Uh, so. Once we get this wiring harness in, then we can actually start putting in uh, the trunk, all the trunk liners and everything will be able to go in and the interior will be able to go in for good. We also gotta change the headliner. I found out that the SS has uh, roof airbags, curtain airbags, which this car does not. Those have to be switched over. Uh, it had Pioneer speakers, which come with the factory SS. Those have been swapped over. Seat belts have been swapped over. Like I said, I'm basically taking pretty much every single part off the other car and putting it in this car. So let's kind of pull this wiring harness out and uh, start figuring out how to put it in there. These seats are pretty cool. I don't know if you guys mess with cobalts at all, but maybe if you're watching, you do. Uh, they're pretty cool. They bolt at the back and then they're just latched in at the front. So you just kind of like lift them up like that and pull them out so there's no bolts that actually hold it in the front there's just holes right here see and then the seat just has latches so that definitely makes it easy to pull them in and out two bolts and you can pull the seat out if you need to so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in this battery cable right here which runs from the back to the front. And as you can see, there's these, these little clips like this. And those just clip into um, various, like, like these things here. There's just various ones along the car here that the cable clips into. So I ended up changing it out because the one that was in this car 
someone had cut this factory end off. And so I figured if I'm pulling everything out, might as well swap that out too. It's in better condition. And uh, I have the old one, which I could always use on another car to put a battery in the trunk. So we'll start with that first, get that in, and then the wire harness. Now the only issue is, I guess I should have paid some attention to exactly how this goes, but I think if, if uh, I follow along, because like I said, there was one of those little clips. Here's another one. And then I think we just follow them along till we get to the front. So then there's also, uh, if I can remember where this goes. I know there's a fusible link, but I don't know what I did with it that goes on to this end here. I'll have to look for it. All right, I took a look at the harness and the fusible link I was talking about is actually in this harness right here, this big fusible link, which plugs in that plug right here. So I guess that gives it power to power whatever. So I kind of laid it out and you can sort of see the harness. So this is the, this is what's under the hood. This section here is under the hood. And then this is up around the dash area right around there. And then that's the fuse box, which goes on the right side of the center console. That's for the, uh, that is for the airbags. And then this thing, bolts to the floor which is something that the other car didn't have and then that box there uh, I think that box there is for the stereo I think or something and that box there there's for the uh, satellite radio and all that stuff which I don't think we have hooked up but it doesn't really matter and then this is the taillight wiring on this side here and then I think another section of it is right here with this plug right here. So yeah, lots of wires. So let's keep running this battery cable and then start on this. One tip I'll give you guys, which obviously you probably know, but uh, it, which I didn't really do and I should have, is it's always a good idea when you're taking something apart and putting it back in, take a picture. Luckily, I had a couple pictures of when I was stripping the uh, car down because uh, while it's not critical, obviously, this cable could go anywhere you want, I suppose. If you want it to go factory the way it's supposed to, it's good to have pictures. So then you can tell exactly where everything goes. But like I said, these all kind of clip in so then you know especially once you kind of know which way you're going, then they just go in there and push in. And uh, I mean, obviously this is a little bent. Once the seat goes in, it'll push it down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then there's supposed to be a little clip over here. Well, there is the clip there, but uh, one's broken, one's still there, so I'll have to retape that. And then uh, you just keep figuring out where this goes. what I'm trying to do so it looks like oh I see there's a there's a harness little harness here so it plugs into there I mean that's another thing too it kind of uh, once you get it into place as you can see it's kind of already laying which way it needs to go so it goes into that little clip then it goes into that little clip and then from here it's gonna go, there's one more clip there, and then it has to go through the firewall. All right guys, so here it is. Pulled through the firewall, and then it goes and bolts onto the uh, fuse block, which is supposed to go right here. All right, so that's in. It's laid in there the way it's supposed to be. And now we gotta start on this mess. All right guys, so I think I have a change of plans here. Before I put the wiring harness in, I think I'm gonna take this Try to take this metal dash out because from what i can see i need to remove it because the pedal assembly is actually connected to this whole thing and i mean i might be able to just take the pedals off and swap them i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm going to see if i can take this off because if i could if i can take this metal piece off which i'm sure i can 
uh, it'll be easier to get the wires in because I can move all this uh, this underlay, whatever you call it, stuff. Six bolts, three here, three there, I already took out. Then there's bolts that hold the pedal assembly in, which like I said, has to come out anyways. There most definitely is bolts up here though for the uh, pedal assembly. Let's take those out. Oh, different size, because there's another 10 mil. Oh, there's another one. There's a bunch of 10 mils. Okay, and then there's a couple, I think they're 13 mils. Oh, oh see, I was wrong. See, I thought this pedal assembly wouldn't come off of here. Oh, I gotta take the... But apparently, I was wrong, because it does come off. Hmm. Wires holding it. The, uh... The SS actually even has a different gas pedal. I need to change that out. There is so many different kinds of uh, clips that hold things on, wiring plugs on in these cars. It's ridiculous. One is this style, one is this style. It's weird. There we go. Okay, so there's the pedal assembly out. All right, guys, after a bunch of screwing around, I finally figured it out. So it was holding on to uh, the bolt here. Uh, like four bolts on the uh, heater box so you had to carefully kind of bend the heater box down and uh, now I'll be able to get it out I should say I hope I'll be able to get it out I think I'll be able to get it out now but it's pretty loose so I think it'll come out now Hopefully, now that that's out, because I can move this out of the way for the wiring plus, I also have to, I have to remove this because this black thing right here, it's bolted on. It's actually part of the firewall, but if you take a look, it actually holds the booster and everything. So I pretty much have to uh, take that off and switch it to the one from the other car. So this was pretty much a necessity. Just hopefully I didn't damage uh, anything in the heater box, but I didn't really have to pull it down that far, so I'm sure it should be okay. Whew, that was a lot of work. I got the harness basically back in. And like I said, it pretty much just lays in there. All those boxes are bolted back up there. All in all, pretty simple uh, in the trunk too. Got all the tail light wiring and stuff. Pretty much just lay it in. There's no real screwing around. So uh, that's going to be it for tonight. And tomorrow we'll uh, get... All right, what's up, guys? So it's the next day now. Back out here again. We ended up getting the trunk back in. My daughter put it all back together. So uh, that's looking pretty much finished. Now I still have to address this issue here of this metal being different. So... Like I had said on the other car, there's a circle here and there's actually a reinforcement. I'll take you out there and show you what I'm thinking about doing because I don't want to mess with the air conditioning, which also goes through this big bracket. I'm going to just cut this off and then I'm going to weld it back together. I'll take you outside and I'll show you exactly what, I ha what I'm thinking and uh, how it should work. All right guys, so now we're in the other car, which you can't really tell because it looks the same. And there's Clayton he's over there. Oh, oh, and he's got the coronavirus. I think it's a no dry cough. Oh, he just took a dump in my bathroom, using up all my toilet paper, which we know is a hot commodity right now. So anyways, so there you can see the hole and there's that kind of reinforcement. So I think my plan is to just take a cutoff wheel and cut it down to here and then here, pull this section off and then just uh, weld it into the other car. I think that'll be the easiest. I'm gonna take a look before I do that, but 
I think that might be the easiest way to go. This is the piece that I need that has the clutch master slave cylinder hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pretty much fit this in here and weld it together. Like I said, it, it would, I mean, it would be okay or easy to take that cover off, except for the fact that the heater control, heater hoses and the AC stuff runs through it. So I'd have to like disconnect all that. I don't want to be disconnecting the AC because it's against the law to let this stuff out. And I don't want to have to pay someone to come here to do it. So I think this is going to be the best way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a cut here. I'm going to get rid of these studs that go through so that I can stick this on and then I'll just be able to mark it, cut it and weld it. <laughs> Scared to cut through the firewall. I cut a hole in the firewall in the other car. I went a little crazy there. Oh, the other car. On the other car. No, I know. So I'm saying I don't want to do it on this car. Okay, so now you can see I have the piece on there. I just scribed around where it's going to go. And now I'm going to take that off, cut it, and that piece should fit right in there. We hope. All right, guys. So you can see there it is joined together. Now I just have to weld it, but uh, I kind of cut a little big on the bottom there, but that's okay. I can weld that up. But overall, it's uh, it's there. That's gonna work, and that's gonna save uh, save a bunch of hassle. So I'm gonna weld her up, and when it's all welded up, I'll show you guys how it turns out, and then I don't know. We'll go from there. welding her up oh apparently I'm pretty much out of mid gas that's why all right guys so 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 there it is I seam sealed it up so in case I didn't uh, totally weld the thing solidly it uh, fumes won't come in there but uh, pretty much that's it so it's ready to accept the uh, slave cylinder now which is awesome so now I can continue putting the dash back in so that foam can go down and then I can put that metal cage back in, kind of the opposite of what uh, taking it out was obviously. So that's gonna be my next move. All right guys, so I ended up putting that uh, metal rail dash part back in, which I should have actually filmed because it was a pain in the ass getting it back in. And then I actually put in the uh, clutch pedal and the gas pedal and brake pedal assembly from the other car. So that's all in there. Everything fits good. I also ended up going out to the other car and just grabbing the uh, master cylinder and uh, booster and putting that in too. So now all that stuff's in. So the next thing I guess I gotta do is put the wiring in, all that wiring, and then, uh, then I can put the plastic dash top on. The uh, steering column can go back in and Pretty much this is almost everything except for the shifter I still have to get out of the other car. And the only other thing in the car is the engine still. So we're moving along pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna start putting this wiring harness in. I thought I'd show you what I got here. So back there, that black bracket, I guess that's an amplifier for the Pioneer system that these cars come with. So I put that in first. So now I basically just have to remember kind of how everything here fits in place so like say there's grounds there we know the grounds go on this little nublet here so that's a good starting point I could put the grounds first and then of course there's things clipped on that should clip back on if not I'll have to tape them or something so yeah it's kind of a it's kind of crazy in ways but in other ways it's pretty straightforward if you just think about it and of course like most GM's you know things only plug into certain places the only issue is 
did the wires run behind something before or through something before and that's what you got to kind of remember so that everything goes back where it came from hopefully i should be able to remember because i did just do this just the other day so hopefully i'll be able to figure it out and if i don't figure it out then i guess you'll hear me getting mad that could be funny too i suppose all right so I know a bunch of the wires went kind of on top of the dash. So I just have to remember how that was. The wires are kind of bent in a certain way. So if you go like there, there's a plug and there's a plug. So, and you can see the wires kind of follow that train. And then plus, as you go along, you might notice, oh, hey, this plugs in here. And oh, this plugs in to this hole here. So then you get the idea that all this stuff goes to a certain place. And then I think these ones are for the throttle and stuff. And they go through the back. So we'll put that there and then that goes there. And then this one clips in there. And like I said, a bunch of these are for the steering wheel and all that. Here's your OBD2 port that goes down there. So that's good for now. Like I said, overall, it's, it's pretty simple. And then like now that I see, now that I put those, plug those ones in, now the grounds perfectly line up exactly where they're supposed to. So we know that we're in the right location. See, like it kind of falls into place. Like see now, you can see this is curved nicely here. And this is for something that's somewhere around here, but it's not here right now. It's the antenna for the stereo. And then this thing here clips in. So nice to have these clips that are just, you clip them in, you clip them out. And then this one, it's plugged in there and it gets tightened with a bolt, which I don't have the socket. And then that bolts to there, or it will bolt to there once everything's together. All right, guys, so we got that pretty much hooked up. That's awesome, other than this. But I'm gonna do the steering column and then, and uh, I think I'm gonna put the cover on first, the plastic dash part. And then once that's on, then I'll end up putting the steering column in so that's easier to get that cover on yeah so uh pretty good it's going together all right guys so that's going to be it for this video in the next video we will continue working on the car i may jump ahead a little bit do a couple things off camera but uh yeah next thing is getting the dash together getting the whole interior in the car and then the engine so stay tuned to see the rest of the series of the cobalt rebuild and uh, check you later.